Hey everybody, got another uh, little video review. This time uh, covering kind of an exclusive, a third party, and a world's smallest all in one go. This is the world's smallest Transformers Ghost Starscream. It's, uh, I believe it's made by Heroes Toys Maker with uh, two E's in Hero. I picked this up along with a uh, Black Death version which had a uh, opaque gold where the red is here and everything else was uh, translucent black. I think I got them both shipped in for uh, $10 something like that. Very good prices. Um, as you can see I've got him next to the uh, E Hobby Masterpiece Ghost Starscream. I would show him next to a smaller version of Ghost Starscream, like the G1 E Hobby or the Millions Publishing uh, Classics. But uh, unfortunately, I haven't gotten either of those yet. But I do plan on it at some point. But you can see uh, the tone of the uh, translucent plastic is a little different it's coming off as kind of yellowed next to the original but it's not it just has more of a uh, a thick frosted effect to it than the uh, official uh, translucent plastics have to them we'll just set masterpiece off to the side take a look at this um, this guy is great but he is also a huge pain in the butt. He is modeled after the Generation 1 toy, obviously, like every WST. But uh, because of that, there's a little bit of parts forming involved if you want to transform him. Nah, I don't mind it too much. but uh. now It has these nice uh, Decepticon tampos on the wings and on the nose cone here those are the only details that this thing has aside from molding the uh, stripes on the wings and the fins and the Decepticon symbols on the fins are uh, stickers that I added on it came with a pretty large sticker sheet also the uh, stickers here on the inside of the intakes and on top of what are going to be the robot feet but he's a nice little guy he's sturdy the uh, rear landing gears are molded into the feet they're static and then he has the uh, front landing gear here that you can flip up and once again it's static but molded in a black translucent plastic but let's go ahead and get him transformed start off by removing the missiles null rays whatever you want to call them just lay them off to the side I like to go ahead and just take the uh, wings off very carefully because it's third party so that means it's not as good a plastic as Hasbro or Takar Tomy would use and it's also translucent which makes it even more flimsy but once you've got the wings off you can just go ahead and rotate the uh, rear fins or the tail fins up stop just short of uh, the light tip and the hole there because just like the original the wing is going to sit right there but just leave those off for the moment go ahead and get the other side here rotate it up keep going out of focus when you see me go out of focus will you um, refocus it just press it see There you go. I've got my son 
Cillian here helping me. I think he is wanting to do a review of his, uh, the larger Creo Bumblebee later, so keep a lookout for that. Okay. Alright. But just like the, uh, G1 version, break the nose cone, flip it around. Um, it's easier. To just go ahead and take the null ray, push it through the bottom here to pop up the uh, arm sections. Oh, and yeah, they're tabbed in with that. All right, there we go. Got them pushed up. Flip the uh, arm sections around here. Go ahead and push them upwards a bit. Dank mein Junge. Ich liebst du? Oh, you remember what that is. We are a German family. I uh, actually used to hail from Germany trying to teach my boy the language. But, uh, just like the G1 version, you know, you end up with your head sticking there. I think I was off camera for most of that. Oh. Um, it might do. Alright, but we've got that done, so we'll go ahead and peg the, uh, main wing sections back on here. If I can get my sausage fingers to grab them. There we go. Then we'll flip down the little feeties. And this is one thing I don't like. The uh, the legs are just hollow. You can see in there. That's kind of bothersome to me. But take uh, his null rays and he's got little uh, holes drilled into his arm sections to plug those into. It's a nice secure fit. A lot better fit than plugging the fusion cannon onto the world's smallest Megatron. Get those pegged in. And the final step, just like the G1 Transformer, Oops, will you grab that fist, son? Let's see, he's got the little bitty fists that detach just like the G1 version does. Slide it on, dunk. Slide the other one on, and he does have molded fingers and a molded thumb on each hand, so you can get in there close and differentiate them if you need to but there is the heroes toys makers world's smallest ghost star scream in robot mode he has not much along the lines of detail you can see he's got oh kind of a molded face i mean he's got a Rectangle for a block and a couple of lines for cheeks. That's it. It's something. Pretty nicely done. Um, I do like the the look of the frosted translucent plastic. And as you can see, the uh, main body has more of a solid translucent. It doesn't have the frosting effect makes a nice contrast to it but I seem to remember that my G1 Starscream I had when I was a kid had these little kind of a uh, target rectical uh, stickers on the intakes so that's the ones I used on here 
may have just been the fact that I had the wrong stickers on when I was little. I don't care. Uh, it's what I had. Damn it. It's what I'm going to have now. But, uh, this guy's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to transform the Ghost Starscream right now. But just here is, uh, Ghost Starscream's missiles. And you can see. Yeah. The guy's not even as tall as the missile assembly for Starscream. The Masterpiece version. So... You know, when it's all said and done, I really like this guy. Um, I bought it off of eBay. Like I said, it came in a two-pack. I believe the seller was Aqualands. Uh, A-Q-U-A-L-A-N-D-S. Um, I think it took about two weeks to get here with uh, the cheap shipping. So, not bad, but uh, I highly recommend, you know, anybody that likes the translucent plastic crack or uh, the WSTs to uh, check it out and pick you up some. I mean, with the price, it's well worth looking into. But thanks, everybody. Have a good day. As usual, questions, comments suggestions, requests, just let me know. Alright, y'all take care. Bye-bye.